Hello and welcome. Today I will be talking on an IC4069. You can call it CD, you can call it TC, you can call it F4069. Is one of those IC used in a voltage stabilizer and is being used along with another IC4011. The 4011, they use it to control the indicators and the delay. But what does the main control is the what controls the relay is the 4069. As you can see in the 4069, we have six in one. A is an input, uh, one for A, one is an input, two is an output for B, three is an input, four is an output. If you watch, there is a bubble at the end of the triangle in the structural diagram. That bubble is an inverter sign, meaning what enters A is inverted as the output. Let's say you have high in the input, you are going to get low at the output. If you get low at the input, if you feed in low at the input, meaning you are going to get high at the output. And this is being used to do some voltage comparing like now like in the other in the next class you will witness what voltage is classified as low and what voltage is classified as high in digital circuit or logic gate circuit this is a logic gate ic uh -huh, and it's, a, it's an inverter logic gate ic and so in digital symbol they have only zero and one and in stabilizer, they only classify it like, a, like, like I'm going to mention that 2.1 volts is for, from 2.5 volts, 1 is for low, which can be classified as zero. Then anything above 2.1 to 5.5 is classified as uh, is classified as high. So when the voltage is low in the input, you see a high output if it's high in the input you see a low output this is how this pin is being configured in majority of the stabilizer you see that they will link a and b together they will link the output of a to the input of b because they are trying to actualize a particular format that we give them the result they want for that voltage stabilizer so i just say let me briefly do about this 4069 and 4069 and the other one which is the 4011 that one which is the 1411 that one is the same a logic gate it's an in fact it's a it's a non gate non gate logic ic it has an input and when you talk of and gate and gate the principle and gate works is that signal it has four in one for 4011 you see that a and b is an input a1 b1 is an input and an output q1 is pin 3. the way this logic works is that whatever when a and b is high you will get a high output sorry normally for a NAND gate let me come in again let me come again for a an AND gate eh, if a and b are an output of high uh, add an input of high if they have high you get a high output but if one of them is low if one of them is low you won't get any output until both of them is high that's when you will get a high output but in this case when the both input is high you get low at the output that is why it's an inverter no gate it's an inverter and gate what that's why they call it none is an inverter and gate and that is why they add n to it it becomes none so this logic gate uh, use it to control the display and some some other stuffs so once again this is all we can tell you for now on this but know that it's the same voltage range used to power lm 3 t 4 that they used to power it is the same voltage output in in a subsequent video you are going to see more of that so once again if you are yet to subscribe to our channel please do subscribe to our channel
Once again, my name is Robin Negwe. This is brought to you by Robin Tech Electric. Thank you and God bless you.